Hello, these are the potatoes I'm going to be growing this year in my 8 foot by 4 foot raised bed. I'm going to be growing five short rows of three potatoes. In this row we're going to grow three Maris Piper. This is Maris Piper, as you can see they're all cheating up quite well. And Maris Piper is a set aside. In this row we're going to grow some Cultra. Cultra is also a set aside potato. So Maris Piper and Cultra a shop bought set aside potatoes. In this row we're going to grow cara. Cara, like the first two, is a set aside shop bought potato and all these potatoes are now quite green. That's not a problem, that's not an issue. Back here we've got some Sapo Mira. Sapo Mira is a potato that I bought about five or six years ago and these are direct descendants of that original order of Sapo Mira potatoes. Sapo Mira allegedly is the most blight resistant potato on the market and that is the standard size seed potato. Okay what about these guys at the back here? Well clearly they're not standard size seed potatoes are they? But these are some of those Sapo Mira just like that one. This one's a Sapo Mira and what I wanted to do was I wanted to go, grow from some really big potatoes to see if it would make a difference. Now don't tell me to cut these potatoes in half because I've got enough potatoes I don't need any more um, so I won't be doing that. I'm going to plant these three oversized Sapo Mira and I'm going to plant these normal sized Sapo Mira and when we harvest them we'll see if there's a difference. We'll see if the big guys produce big guys. Okay, so that's just a little experiment going on within uh, the raised bed. Now let me tell you what we're going to do uh, with the rest of this video. I'm going outside now. I'm going to excavate 15 planting holes. And those planting holes will be equally spaced across the bed and I'll be taking those holes out with a trowel. I'll bring the soil up the garden to the wheelbarrow from those planting holes and mix in some potato fertiliser. We go back down to the raised bed. We sit a seed potato in the planting hole and we fill it with that mix that contains a potato fertiliser. And that's it. That's what we're going to do today. Now, just in case these potatoes come through early, there's another crafty move that I want to show you. So if these potatoes were to get through earlier than I expect, and I expect they'll take at least another two or three weeks before they break the surface. But if they get through any sooner than that, and if there's a danger of frost, I'll show you what we do at homegrown veg. Okay, let's go down a garden. Let's plant some potatoes. <laughs> 